Buffalo. The focus is on making the city a better place for cyclists. And our goal is to become one of the most bicycle friendly cities in the nation. I think we're well on our way. At the end of this year, we'll have 90 miles of bicycle lanes installed in the city of Buffalo by 2018. Our goal is to have 150 miles of bicycle lanes in the city of Buffalo. Okay, the mayor is saying one thing, but how is he actually doing? They, he says they're well on their way. Go Bike Buffalo might think something else. That's right. Go Bike Buffalo is one of those groups that's really pushing for those added lanes. This morning, they woke up bright and early with us, and they took along 7 Eyewitness News reporter Matt Bobay. He is riding around with some of those members this morning telling us a little bit about it. Matt? Yeah, good morning, guys. We're going down Forest right now. We just went through the S-curves at Delaware. Je 7 Eyewitness News photographer Jeff Wick has the camera. He's sitting in the cargo bin of Justin Booth from Go Bike Buffalo. So, Justin, we just heard from the mayor talking about his plan with bike lanes over the next couple of years. We went through Delaware Park. That's a spot where there could be some improvements for, you know, the biking community. Yes, what's really exciting is the governor's commitment to right size the Skajakwit Expressway. Uh, we have a public meeting with the Department of Transportation to lay out that plan this coming Thursday evening at Olmstead School. And we're really excited to see how the state plans to really connect uh, the community back together again, re-knitting the neighborhoods on either side from north, south, east, west. And how do we really do a great job of focusing on people, access to the park, pedestrians, cyclists, rollerbladers, the like, and really making that space uh, really a great part of the city as it was once envisioned by Olmsted. So with us this morning we've got Thea, Henry, Rob, and we've got you know our team. So go by Buffalo, some of the members of your team. What is your big picture? What is the ultimate goal for you guys? Our goal is to make Buffalo one of the most bike friendly cities in the country. Cities across the country have been really using cycling as a way to build quality of life. It's a great way to attract businesses here, to attract people to live here. It's a great way to build health, improve the environment, and build economic vitality. So it, a small investment provides a really large return for the city, and bicycling is one of the simplest ways to do that. All right, well, Justin, everybody, thank you for waking up with us. We're gonna be checking back all morning long. You're gonna ride along with us. I have to say, I'm very proud of 7 Eyewitness News photographer Jeff Wick sitting in that little bin. He's giving you the thumbs up this morning. We'll check back in with you at 6. We'll talk about some of the big events Go Bike Buffalo has coming up. Live on Forest Avenue, Maple Bay 7 Eyewitness News. I'm going to one-up Matt here, and I'm going to say I'm more impressed with Justin, with Justin Booth because yeah. he is pedaling along. You can hear he's out of breath. He's got a grown man <laughs> in a basket in front of his bike. He's got a grown man. He's got a camera. Right now. <laughs> and he's got the thing that needs to go live. He's probably carrying an extra 200-something pounds right, right now. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. Well, good for them. It's good exercise nonetheless.